right, what is going on? I'm heading home from Killington right now. Just got back to the car, starting to, starting to snow a little bit better. I hope I'm in frame here, I think I probably am, we'll find out. But uh, this video is gonna be basically a full run summit back to the bottom where the gondola was at. Surprisingly, uh, one of the reasons I came up here is because they have it completely covered in snow from the summit all the way back down to the gondola, which is pretty awesome. So I'm gonna put up the second run of the day and of the season. Uh, <clears throat> So you can skip ahead to that if you want, but just a little recap. The first run was good. Uh, I just like the angle on the GoPro a little better on my second run, so that's the one I'm going with. Uh, when I got here, the conditions were surprisingly really good. I mean, it's, uh, it's only November 11th, so it's crazy I'm even here. Um, but I got up there, the snow was really nice. They got about like seven inches I think in the last week as well as they've been making their own snow the whole time uh, so snow was really good pretty much no ice and uh, visibility was pretty good um, I was having a little trouble with my uh, goggles I've been saying uh, I'm gonna get new goggles that are uh, basically no tint the ones I have right now have a pretty dark tint so on overcast days like today really like most days uh, up here it's it's better to have goggles without tint so you can see what you're doing so I was having a little little trouble reading the terrain um, so you'll see in the video it's I'm not really going all that fast for a couple reasons I was getting my legs back under me uh, I took a couple breaks because my legs were just burning my feet were killing me just I'm, not, I'm just not conditioned for it right now um, but also I couldn't see that well to be comfortable going faster um, yeah so I'm leaving a little earlier than I wanted it's just before two o'clock right now um, I don't know if you see behind me but they got some weather rolling in which isn't necessarily bad but with my goggles it was sort of mixed precipitation sort of snow sort of like sleet uh, so as the day was going on, people were skiing and they were knocking, you know, the snow off the trail. So it did become a little more icy as the day was going on. Conditions were getting a little worse. And then with this snow, it's like a real fine powder and some of it's like even uh, like sort of sleet. So it was basically putting a layer of ice on my goggles. So my goggles were essentially useless. So then I was skiing with my goggles off, which if you've ever tried, is really hard to do, uh, especially if it's snowing at all, um, which it is. So it uh, forced me to go quite a lot slower, which is fine. I was working on my turns, trying to keep my upper body still, which is something I'm still working on, um, and letting my legs do the work. So working on my turns, I did a couple trails with moguls, uh, practicing that. But eventually it just got to a point, for all the reasons I just listed, that uh, it just it was time to go. So, I'm heading home, but like I said, it's early November, so the fact that I got out here at all is awesome. And lift ticket was only like 35 bucks, so it was sort of a no-brainer to come up, get some runs in. I got at least three hours of real good skiing. Uh, and yeah, one thing that always surprises me or some of my question is you know we were leaving and some people were they had a shuttle because they're doing construction and we're getting on the shuttle to go back down to the parking lot and people are coming up and it's two o'clock the max that I think the list run till either 3 30 or 4 so they're getting the max of two hours of skiing and by the time they get up there probably even less so it's just like what are you doing I don't know but hey yeah, so anyway, this uh, it's going to be about a 10 minute run uh, just from top to bottom. I think it was, it's like a blue, I think it was Green, uh, Great Northern, I think it's called. I took basically the whole way down and did that a couple times. And I did a bunch of 
basically all the trails that were open I tried at least once so anyway I hope you guys like it I hope it gives you an idea of what it's like up here